Now, here's the quickest recording studio vlog possible. What's going on everyone? This is HBY. I'm about to head into my home away from home recon recordings and uh, we're gonna record some music today. Let's go. Honestly, that's so sus and that's why I won't budge from what they said I could and wouldn't and shouldn't be when I crawl up. What I'm on is something that they don't know about this right now. Yeah, normally, normally rapper would be vibing out, smoking some of the finest, finest greenery out there. Meanwhile, I'm munching on some vegan snacks. Something that they don't try to keep it healthy and keep it true. Alright you guys, I just left Recon, my voice is killing me a little bit, but trust me, I put some good work in the studio for today. Salute. On second thought, I should probably have a videographer follow me in the recording studio for these sorts of things. What's going on everyone, this is HBY, Michael to those that know me better. And I'm back with a new vlog. Let's get into a couple of things that caught my attention this past week. But first, let's talk about Monty Teo. For those not in the know, Monty Teo is the star linebacker of the Notre Dame college football team. But he's also a guy that sports news reporters focus on heavily because he lost both his grandmother and girlfriend within a 24-hour period. And that upon receiving the news of the two deaths, that Teo went out and led the Fighting Irish to a 20-3 victory against Michigan State, a game where he racked up 12 tackles. But according to an article published by Deadspin this past week, Monty Teo's girlfriend, Lene Kakua, didn't actually die from leukemia this past September. As a matter of fact, turns out Lene Kakua didn't actually even exist. And while Teo has come out and said that he felt duped in regards to this girlfriend, Deadspin has come out with a very in-depth timeline that shows that Teo may have actually been in on this hoax. That goes into everything from how Teo allegedly met Lene Kakua online, to whether or not they had actually met in person, right down to the five different dates that were listed for the date of Lene Kakua's death. Suffice to say, this story is definitely not over, and I have a feeling things are about to get weirder than an episode of Catfish. In other news, Oxygen came out this week and said that they would not go through with airing the special All My Babies Mamas. If you're not already familiar with All My Babies Mamas, here's the breakdown. Last month, a sizzle reel leaked for a proposed reality show that would have starred rapper Shoddy Love, with the big hook for the show being that he had 11 children with 10 different women. And the show was going to follow Shoddy Love's family dynamic with having these 11 children with 10 different women. And I'm glad that Oxygen isn't airing the special because it definitely would have perpetuated some negative stereotypes. Like Shoddy Low being a rapper, that's still considered irrelevant. Although I will admit, it would have been interesting to see the kind of dynamic that Shoddy Low and T.I. had as neighbors on the show. Especially when you consider the fact that T.I. was the man credited for taking down Shoddy Low's career with the song What Up, What Happening. And also, the trailer for Spring Breakers finally came out this week. And it's definitely been a movie I've been looking forward to after months of photos showing everything from James Franco as a riff raff s character to Selena Gomez, Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Benson, and Rachel Corinne looking sexy in bikinis and whatnot. And also, Harmony Corinne, the guy who wrote Kids, directed this movie. So before the trailer even came out, I knew this was going to be a crazy film. But now that the trailer's actually come out, and shows even more to the story about four college girls who landed in jail robbing a restaurant to fund their spring break vacation who then gets sprung out by a drug dealer played by James Franco to do some dirty work for him, and that it also stars Gucci Mane? I'm definitely looking forward to this movie when it comes out later this year. And to all my people heading out to South by Southwest this year, it's going to have a red carpet premiere during the festival. Yeah! And finally, instead of doing my Rhyme Calisthenic segment this week, I want to do a quick movie review of Gangster Squad. If you saw last week's vlog, you'll know that I was really excited and looking forward to seeing Gangster Squad. But after having seen it, my reaction to the movie was, meh. It actually ended up being somewhat of a mediocre film. I mean, it was inspired by this true story about a Los Angeles police squad that was created in order to bust a mafia boss named Mickey Cohen. And you had a fairly good cast of actors including Josh Brolin and Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling, and Sean Penn that are more than capable of carrying a film like this. But the script and the story ended up leaving a lot to be desired for this film. Halfway through, the beats of the story ended up being fairly predictable, and at times it seemed like a few of the actors were really trying to ham it up like, THIS IS A MAFIA MOVIE! Especially with Sean Penn as Mickey Cohen. However, I will say that this movie actually looked really good, to the point where Gangster Squad has been nicknamed L.A. Noir the movie, but overall it ended up just being an okay-ish film. If we were to go off of some sort of rating system, I would just give it like a 2.5 or a 3 out of 5 
five stars sort of rating. And I'd say it's definitely one of those films that you should probably wait for to come out on On Demand or Netflix rather than to go see it in the theaters. But now, we've come to the end of this week's vlog. Subscribe to my channel at youtube.com slash imhby. You can follow me on both Twitter and Instagram at imhby. Check out my Tumblr blog over at imhby.tumblr.com. Soundcloud.com slash h-b-y for my music. Instacanvas slash imhby where I'm selling prints of my Instagram pictures. And vu.com slash imhby where I will answer all your life's questions. But that's going to do it for me for this week. You're all fantastic. Continue to stay awesome and I will see you next time.